everyone good evening so here we shall solve some more kct previous year questions on the chapter magnetism method so in the previous part one at all till the question part we start from any any steps if you have any doubts then write that in the comments section you should clarify them any other chapter of physics if you see difficult the comment section will give more priority on it and solve more and more questions so some important homework in sapiens education and education this is all our sapiens education so link has been provided in the description in question number eight, just told the susceptibility of a ferromagnetic substance <coughs> is five, that is much greater than one. So option C is the correct one. Question number nine, it is told magnetic magnetic dipole of magnetic moment magnetic at six into ten power minus two ampere meter square and moment of inertia. 12 into 10 power minus 6 kg meter square performs oscillations in a magnetic field 2 into magnetic field is 2 into 10 power minus 2 tesla the time taken by the dipole to complete 20 oscillations is that means the time taken to complete 20 oscillations is the 20 into the time period and the time period of oscillation that E cross B N E square theta is equal to I alpha I e square theta by dt square. So it means that omega square is equal to M D by I. So omega is equal to root over M which is equal to 2 pi by T. But T will be equal to 2 pi into root over I by M D. You have to take the pi, the value of pi to be approximately 3. Therefore, the required time taken by the magnetic dipole to complete 20 oscillations it will be 2 into 3 into i, square root of i, that is 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 by m, 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 into d, that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. This will be so 12 and 12 will cancel out. So 6. 6 into root over 10 power, this is minus 2, 10 power 4 minus 6, that is 10 power minus 2, 6 into 10 power minus 1, 0 0.6, that into 20 I put, 20. so it will be, it is a 12, 12 seconds, option D is the correct answer. The question number 10 to store which of the following properties is false for a bar magnet? Present mode of magnetic field. Poles cannot be separated. Points in north south direction are suspended. Light poles ripple and so option A is the correct answer since it will obviously produce magnetic field. Needles N1, N2, and N3 are made of the ferromagnetic, a paramagnetic, and a diamagnetic substance. Magnet, when brought close to them, it will attract the needle N1 strongly. It attract N1 strongly since it is a ferromagnetic substance. And it will Ripple and it will repel N3 weakly. It will attract it will attract N2 also weakly. It will attract N1 strongly, N2 weakly, and repel N3. So option B is the correct answer.
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व विद स्टूडेंट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज कॉन्स्टेंट एवरीवेयर और जीरो एवरीवेयर वैल्यू फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस Strength of the Earth's magnetic field is varying from place to place on the Earth's surface. Option D is the correct answer. D E is not constant everywhere. Earth's magnetic field is not constant. Okay. Question number thirteen. It is told in a permanent magnet at room M. Temperature. The domains are partially aligned. The magnetic movement of each molecule. The domains are all perfectly aligned. The individual molecules are non-zero magnetic. Are all. Okay. Option A is the correct answer. That. The domains are partially in. Means in a permanent. What happens? Some regions are formed where some net magnetic field is formed, even in the absence of some external magnetic field. So here the domains are partially in. It means that all the molecular Magnets are not aligned in the same uh, direction, but most of the molecular magnets are aligned in a particular direction. So it means that some net magnetic moment is formed. So it means that the domains are partially in. Okay, so it means option A is the correct answer. Then in question number fourteen, it is told the passivity of a magnet where the ferromagnet gets completely demagnetized is three into ten power three ampere per. Which is the H, which is called the magnetic intensity, the, the minimum current required to be passed in the solenoid having a thousand turns per meter, so that the magnet gets completely demagnetized when placed inside the solenoid. Is. So H will be equal to n into I. So this I is called as the magnetizing current. So that I will be H by n. N is thousand turns, so ten power three. So this will be three into ten power three divided by ten power three amperes. So this is three amperes. So option A is the correct answer. Question number fifteen. It is told a paramagnetic sample shows a net magnetization. Paramagnetic sample shows a net magnetization of. Magnetization of eight ampere per meter when placed in an external magnetic field. This place in an external magnetic field of zero point six tesla at a temperature of four kelvin. When the same sample is placed in an external magnetic field of zero point two tesla 
at a temperature of 16 kelvins the vaporization will be we do that so according to the curie's law of paramagnetism according to the curie's law of paramagnetism Curie's law of paramagnetism. You can say that psi is inversely proportional to T. Means that m is equal to h. That h is equal to T by T. That means that I is inversely proportional to T means that M is also proportional to M by T. So now M I can say that is some C D by T where C is called the Curie's constant. It means that M1 M1, T1, M1, T1 by B1, that is, is M into T by B, that is constant. Therefore, I can say M1, T1 by B1, that is equal to M2, T2 by T2 by B2. Now, here we have to find M1. We have to find out M1, where M, where M2 is given as, 8 ampere per meter P2 that is temperature is 4 Kelvin and the field P2 that is 0.6 Tesla and P1 that is 0.2 Tesla and P T1 that is 16 Kelvin. Therefore M1 will be M2 T2 by B2 into B1 by T1. That will be M2 that is 8 into T2 that is 4 by P2 0.6 to G1 that is 0 0.2 divided by 16. 4 4 is a 16, 4 2 is a 8, and 2 3 is a 6, M1 is 2 by 3 ampere per meter. Option B is the correct answer. And in question number 15, it is told the ratio of the magnetic field at the center of a, at the center of a current carrying circular coil, current carrying circular coil to its magnetic field. Ratio of the magnetic field at the center to its magnetic point is x. If the Current and the radius both are doubled, the new ratio will be the current is doubled, doubled. If i goes to 2i, the radius is doubled also over the new ratio. The magnetic field at the center that is equal to mu naught i not into ni n is the number of mu naught ni by 2r that means b is proportional to i by r the magnetic moment that is equal to n i into pi r square Therefore, m. Therefore, if I do b by m equal to mu naught n i by two r divided by n i pi r square, n n will cancel, i two will cancel, so this will come mu naught by two pi r two.
it means that the ratio of B and M that is inversely proportional to R Q only. Therefore, if the radius is doubled, then this ratio will change to 1 by 8 cross. 1 by 8 times, so x by 8 it will Option B is the Question number 17, it is told, in a permanent magnet at room temperature, the domains are partially aligned, the domains are perfectly aligned, the magnetic point of each molecule is zero. The individual molecules have non-zero magnetic points, which are perfectly non-zero magnetic moment, which are perfectly aligned. It means that in a permanent magnet, what happens? So it is obviously a ferromagnetic sample. In a ferromagnetic sample, some regions are formed in the magnetic sample where most of the molecular magnets are aligned in a particular direction. So it means that some net magnetic moment is even in the absence of some extra in these regions. So these regions are called the domains. So, so all the molecular magnets are not aligned in the same direction in these domains. So most of the magnets are aligned in a particular direction so the domains are not perfectly aligned they are partially aligned option a is the correct answer question number 18 it is told earth's magnetic field always has a horizontal component shift at this magnetic field always has a horizontal component at the magnetic poles. This is why H E we know that is equal to B E cos I and I is called the inclination of the which is called inclination or the the dip angle. So the dip angle at the magnetic equator the magnetic equator dip angle I, that will be equal to 0 degree so uh, horizontal component will be same as the head magnetic field of the earth at the and at the magnetic poles at the magnetic poles of the earth the dip angle is 90 degree so it means that the horizontal component at the magnetic poles will be zero. so B is the correct answer then we shall solve the last question of this chapter. In question number 19, it is told that which of the following statement proves that Earth has a magnetic field? Earth is surrounded by ionosphere. The intensity of cosmic rays of charged particles is at the poles than at the equator. A large quantity of iron ore is found. Is a planet rotating about the North South Axis. So, here uh, the statement B proves that the Earth has a magnetic field. So, uh, since why? Due to the shape of the geometric field, so what happens since the earth has some magnetic field has some magnetic field so the intensity of cosmic stream of charged particles is more at the poles than at the equator since the 
at the magnetic force, the, the intensity of the magnetic field is maximum. So, so the, the intensity of the charged particles of the cosmic rays will be also higher at the magnetic poles than at the magnetic field. So the statement B proves that the Earth has a magnetic field. So option B is the correct one. So hope that all of you have understood the solutions of these 19 questions on this chapter on magnetism and matter. So any doubts if you have then please write that in the comments. Obviously verify them. Please install our settings education application for some important homework questions based on the previous year KCT. This will be good for you. Thank you everyone.